regard, how did your season go? Did it go as planned? It did go as planned. Um, about three years ago, uh, we set some pretty high goals, um, knowing kind of where we were headed. Um, and we, we felt like this year we could um, you know, win our conference, win our sectional, um, have some state qualifiers, uh, regional champions, um, you know, go undefeated in the regular season. Right. So, I mean, really, um, kind of the way we envisioned it, going to team state again, it, it worked out. It took, took a lot of years of hard work, but it, it worked out um, as we planned. We didn't reach every single goal. Uh, one of the other goals that we had was to place in the top ten at Mishawaka, the mm -hmm. Al Smith invite, and we didn't we didn't reach that goal this year. Uh, but all of our other goals, uh, going undefeated in the regular season, going to team state, winning the John McKee, winning the Super Eight, winning conference for the third time in a row, um, winning Logan Sport, winning South Bend Clay, every goal we set out to hit, we hit this year so except you had for one. So we did. Uh, a lot, like I said, a lot of hard work went into it, but we. Um, and you know, we finally saw, the kids finally saw the fruits of their labor. Jordan, could you explain to us a little bit about your state experience? Uh, it is pretty cool being with the garden, Lane and Holloway. And then also, like, we have a suite every year uh, that we get, no matter what, whether somebody makes it or not. But after, you know, getting there and warming up and everything, you know, looking up at the our suite and everything, seeing everybody there ready to, you know, watch me wrestle and, just being there for me, it was fun, and going in the same hotels and stuff, and having my parents there, it was really cool. Do you think that because you're a senior and this is like your kind of last go at it, that you approached your season differently this year? Um, yeah and no. Yes, because it's my senior year, and I know that it's my last time I'll ever wrestle in high school, and that this is kind of just determines whether I go to college, or not, you know. But no, because you gotta look at it the same way every time, you know. It doesn't matter who's gonna step on the mat with me, who's gonna. Shake hands with me, whatever. I gotta go out there and do what I want to do and what guard wants me to do. So, did you have any challenges, like as an entire team, that you had to overcome, or something unexpected that happened you didn't really prepare for? Well, um, our numbers were probably a little lower than what I had hoped. We had uh, three or four juniors who did not come out this year that we were hoping would. Mm -hmm. um, we had one senior quit um, right before the season started, right right before we wrestled our first match. Um, so those were some some problems, you, you know, that that we had to overcome because those kids were all important to our program. Right. Um, but uh, you know, at the same time, the guys did a nice job of circling the wagons and doing what they needed to do to keep their eye on our goals um, and uh, you know keep working hard to accomplish those. Did you have a specific way to approach state? Did you just think um, fun or? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you if you don't have any fun with it, you're gonna want to not do it anymore. Not you're not gonna go into it, you know, ready. But um, yeah, because you know it's for a big thing. Because the last place to that we had was Corey Fornell, and like I don't know when, but he placed second. But just trying to place was a good thing for me. And then when I did place, you know, it was pretty cool and. After I won my first match, you know, I went over and I hugged Guard, you know, I said, thanks for everything, thanks for having me, this is, this is so much fun, and he said, I told you so, so. <laughs> of course. Uh, do you think that being a wrestler, like, what your personal experience of being a wrestler is, do you think that that affects the way that you coach others? Um, yeah, um, because, you know, one of the things I try to do with wrestling um, is to try to teach a lot of life lessons mm -hmm. through that. Um, a lot of my experience with wrestling was learning a lot of uh, goal setting, dedication, uh, work ethic, um, you know, how to work hard, what hard work meant. Um, so I try to use a lot of those things through coaching. Um, so a lot of my experiences, you know, I try to put a lot of my experiences in it to try to give kids a framework for what some of those things when we set goals or or when we're talking about a certain, you know, about hard work or things of that nature, I try to give them examples through what I did um, as an athlete myself. And then also, you know, since I've been coaching for 18 years, I can give them a lot of examples through kids who have come before them. So I try to incorporate a lot of, a lot of Rochester's history, my history, um, to try to give kids a framework for what we're trying to accomplish. Right, because it all adds up. Yep. Did you feel like any kind of, like, responsibility? Because, you know, you're representing Rochester. And um... 
Yeah, because, you know, representing guard and representing Rochester in general, you know, I want to put Rochester on the map for, like John did last year, for having just a state qualifier. Well, mm -hmm. I want to make it a step better. Make it to where everybody's not like, oh, who's Rochester? I want everybody to know that, you know, Rochester's producing wrestlers, swimmers, track, football, whatever, just right. academics, anything. I just want to make sure that they know who we are. Yeah, like all about promoting mm -hmm. the program that exactly. we have here. Could you just like kind of in a nutshell describe that state experience as a coach? Like what does it mean for you as a coach to have a wrestler go to state? Um, well, it means, I don't know, it, it, selfishly, it, you know, it's exciting for me. Mm -hmm. um, it means that, um, you know, from my perspective, I feel like I've done a good job with that kid. Um, but more importantly, I feel like um, that athlete has kind of bought into what we've been talking about. Right. Um, you know, for a kid like Jordan Schaefer, it took five or six years for him to finally buy into all the things we talk about of, of what being a wrestler is at Rochester or being a wrestler in general. So for him to reach that pinnacle and get to the state tournament in place and be on the podium um, is, is gratifying for me because you don't get there without, without the student athlete buying into uh, what you've been preaching for years. Um, so from my perspective, it's just, it's more gratifying, more of, you know, what we've been doing, the work that, that we've put in as coaches is, is paying off for that student athlete. Um, and then it's exciting because I'm just excited for the kid. Um, so, you know, like I said, I think for the coaches it's just a gratifying. It's, it's knowing that you're doing the right thing for that athlete. Do you think that, because we've had, we interviewed the swimmers and I asked them, you know, did you feel any pressure at state? And a lot of them said, no, the, the pressure was everything before that. Do you feel that way? Um, <laughs> actually, the most pressure I ever had was at semi-state when it's the play, like, the determine whether you go or not. That was the most pressure, but at state, you know, you've made it, you're ready to go. And me and guard talked all of the week prior to Friday about, um, <coughs> Uh, the pressure and everything and how people are going to look at it for this season for me and everything, so, no. How much did, you know, you've talked about Guard already and your relationship with him be the week before State, how much did he actually influence how you approach wrestling, how you think about wrestling? Um, you know, my freshman year, it was pretty, you know, scary just because I was, I'd, I've lettered in wrestling all four of my years, so, mm -hmm. but he really had a big influence just to make sure that you know, I stuck with it. I did everything I could and just to make sure that I go out there no matter what and wrestle the way he wants me to and the way I want to. Well, I think that you can say you did a pretty good job. Uh, season, yeah. Right? Yeah. It was so, fun. Well, thank you very much, Jordan, yep, for your time. Thank you. Could, uh, we mentioned Jordan Schaefer, right? And he was, he was the wrestler that went to state this year. Could uh -huh. you just talk a little bit about him, how, how people viewed him, other wrestlers on the team, like what he meant for the team? Um... Well, I mean, I think, and you can't really, I don't think you can just say, you know, how did they just view Jordan? I think all of those seniors viewed each other as a very important part of what we were trying to do. Um, you know, I, we had really, I mean, Jordan was the one who went to state, but at the same time, I felt like we had three or four other kids who had a real good chance at making it. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of that is because they worked hard. And... Um, you know, I think for Jordan, what Jordan has meant to the program, you're talking specifically about him, mm -hmm. to me he's meant that those kids who really struggle when they come into high school, uh, academically, socially, you know, at home, um, you know, if you, if you can stay the course and you can continue to do what we, what we talk about every, every day, every year, um, it's going to pay off in the end. Now for some kids that might pay off sooner, but for a kid like Jordan, it took four years to really get him to where we thought he could be. Um, so I think other kids can look at him as an example and say, you know, if he can do it, you know, if I'm struggling uh, and have the same struggles that Jordan had and he can do it, then I can do it. Right, of course. Like he's kind of the accumulation of all these right. different things for everybody. Mm -hmm. Mr. Guard, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.